every time I sit and talk in front of you I start sweating profusely and you know there's only so many showers I can have in the day. Hey guys how's it going? So I just want to tell you a little story today to keep it fresh because I'm fresh. I'm fresh as the prince. Last night I was just in my living room, I was getting ready to go to sleep on the sofa. Sounds like I'm a middle-aged man who's had an argument with his wife. I feel like a middle-aged man. Wait, am I a middle-aged man? I feel suddenly really uncomfortable. Anyway, I was just chilling and then I got a phone call from block number. For some reason I answered it, which is weird because I don't answer phone calls and they hung up straight away and usually a normal person would just take that just forget about it I however from that moment on convinced myself that I had been targeted by thieves who wanted to get into my house panic room style except there's no like prepubescent Kristen Stewart having a sweaty hypoglycemic attack on my floor I wish am I right no I'm on my own and everyone else is asleep so it's my duty to protect the household middle-aged man ken protecting this household from thieves so i sneaked through my house to the kitchen which i'm not gonna lie was also a terrifying experience because at this point i could hear people outside of the house and i'm also afraid of the dark and ghosts so but i pulled through you know I, I got to the kitchen i got a knife i thought for some reason though that a knife isn't intimidating enough and i tied it with a shoelace to a piece of wood she's ready to combine all sorts to protect this household like i will tie shit together to make it easier to attack you don't get me on a bad day where i combine two knives together i know what you're thinking Kerry, that's a really good idea. You, you're creating a longer weapon. You can attack from further away. The wood was about that long. I could have easily just held the knife and elongated my arm to get the same effect. Bear in mind in this situation, I genuinely think someone's outside. So there's like this adrenaline running through me. I sit there with this homemade spear in my hands and the longer time goes on, the less adrenaline is in my body and the more I'm thinking this was a stupid idea, who am I? So in the end I was less worried about the intruder coming in attacking me for my belongings and I was more worried about the intruder coming in and judging me. Obviously no one came in so I dissembled the combo item, um, put everything back as it were and uh, you know kind of took a hard look at myself and thought is this how you prepare for situations in which you could possibly die? I'm safe in the thought that no one saw me, but then again, I'm scared of ghosts. So there's probably three or four ghosts kind of thinking, Terry, don't, don't haunt her. No, she's, look at her, she's a mess. She's, what is that? If I was thinking rationally, it would have taken me about 10 seconds to think, Kerry, you're a 21 year old student and you have no valuable belongings. No one wants to target you. I went on a different path. Sometimes I wish I was Amanda Bynes because at least then behavior like this could be blamed on drug abuse. It's just my sober brain acting like a twat. So guys, what would you do if you thought someone was gonna come into your house? See. I'd like to think I would be a hero, you know, take them down, tie their hands up, call the police, get a medal, get a key to the city, you know, heroes welcome. But I'm pretty sure that I'd probably just tr pretend to sleep through it, lie as still as possible and wait for it to be over. Sounds like all of my one night stands. <laughs> I'm in a onesie. Boop. Maybe you can look past my personality and only focus on my looks. I wish. <laughs> I've got nothing going for me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and enduring that story. I'm going to do a Q&A video soon, so I would love it if you could leave me some questions down below in the comments. Or if you don't want to do it in the comments down below for any reason, you can go to my Tumblr and you can leave me questions in my ask box. I will say, don't go to my Twitter because I fucking hate Twitter. I'm Little Rabbit and I'm saying goodbye. Goodbye, I'm a little rabbit.